So how the tipping system works on cruise line? Now to understand how the tipping system works on cruise line, we have to cover a couple of things. So now in this video, we're going to talk about first thing, which are the department entitled for tips on cruise line. Second, how much tips they can make. Third, how the tipping system works on cruise line. Fourth, how much guest usually pay the tips. So make sure you watch this video till last. Now before we start or before we jump how the system works, I think it's need to understand first how the salary get paid on cruise line. Because somehow your salaries are directly, indirectly does reflect because of the tips. Now, if you understand that today's scenario, but to understand the today's scenario, I would say we have to understand how it was before. When I say before, I'm talking about 15 to 20 years before. When there were limited cruise line, limited crew member, and systems were very different compared to today. If we talk about 15 to 20 years before, there was absolutely no cashless system. That means whenever a guest go for a cruise, after booking the cruise, they have to pay for all the services on board with cash. That means if they go to bar, they have to pay cash. Whatever they do, they have to pay cash. But today, everything is cashless. You link your credit card, so whatever you spend, you get charged directly to your credit card. So that thing has been completely out now. So now before, when the guests were booking the cruise, they were typically getting charged as a graduate end of the cruise. So let's take an example of one week cruise. So if you book a one week cruise, that means guest has to pay around $112, I would say, 15 to 17 dollar per person per day as a tips or so called as a graduate but that time guest has right to remove the graduates so what was happening now we have to compare this and the reason i'm going little bit 15 20 year 20 years before so we can understand how does it really works today so guests were paying 15 to 17 dollar per person per day if they book for a week cruise that means around 100 and 112 dollar guest has to pay as a graduate and those were getting charged end of the cruise typically second last day of the cruise and guest has the right to remove it and so many guests were actually removing it end of the cruise so how it was impacting on crew member? So crew member, I'm taking example of dining room. So dining room, which is typically the main restaurant, every crew member have station. Station typically consists of 25 to 35 guests divided into three man system, which is first man, second man and third man. You pay $120 per cruise, per one week cruise, that means 15 to 17 dollar per person per day. And those tips, graduates were divided in between the three people. Now it happened so many times in the past that let's say a waiter has a full station of 35 guests, but guests, 50% guests decided to remove the tips end of the cruise. That means, let's say 20 guests, they said, you know, I'm not happy with the services or whatever reason. And I feel like that they don't deserve this gratuities. And guests had right to remove it. But the crew member has a basic salary of $50 to $100. Rest of the salaries were coming out of those gratuities. 
So if 50% guests don't pay, that means those crew members work for guests for one week absolutely free because they didn't pay a single penny of their services. So it was really uncomfortable situation for crew member and also for the cruise line because if somebody work hard for a week and don't get paid a single penny, it's really pinch. And it was impacting crew satisfaction and somehow indirectly guest satisfaction for the remaining guest because it spoiled their mood and they don't give a class service even to the remaining guest and next time the crew members start judging the guest or oh, maybe this guest will not pay tips so from the beginning they a little bit to go on a slow pace to give them services so cruise line thought you know we have to find a solution so what happened now most of the cruise line comes with a fixed salary system that means every crew member will get a fixed salary doesn't matter which department you come from it become part of your contract and you get salary paid monthly or fortnightly depend on your experience and your position and they made graduates mandatory for the guest that means guest cannot remove the graduate now that doesn't mean graduate complete your entire payroll no it is not in case for any scenario and guest still says i don't want to pay the tips which is graduate now cruise line cover the salary because now they made sure that every crew member must know how much salary they will get every month or fortnightly so at least that part is covered and whatever happen that happen between cruise line and the guest and that impact will be taken care by the cruise line not by the crew member so that part was completely covered and now most of the cruise line they have covered this part absolutely and but obvious as i said graduate is not the 100% part of your payroll it cover your certain part of payroll because rest of the salary comes out from the cruise line graduate cover certain welfare certain pay- payroll structures but rest of the pay rest of the pay is paid by the cruise line now usually what is happening now and still there is a confusion going on because some crew member thinks that graduate is not part of uh, they don't get graduates well they do get graduates but they get in a different form which used to be tips but that doesn't stop the guest now to pay the tips because graduate is somehow part of ticket price still guest can pay the tips in case a guest in case a crew member made your vacation memorable absolutely you have a right to pay them additional tips that's absolutely fine now certain crew member think how much tips they're going to make well there is tips is is an optional now it's not mandatory still there are crew member they make good tips but it depend on your individual services that how good you are to provide your service and in that case yes you will make good tips as well there are crew member they have a salary of $2000 i'm talking about certain department like uh, you have uh, dining room you have housekeeping you have spa your salary is $2000 and you on top you make $2000 as a tip and that's because of your hospitality because of your services but still your basic salary is been covered by the cruise line so that means it's a win win situation your basic salary is covered and on the top you also make the tips so this is how it works i hope this video clear all the confusion because i know there are lots of confusion especially with the new hire sometimes they ask me questions sir how much tips i can make well it's not a hard and fast rule that you going to make tips 
again is optional it depend on every individual that how much tips you're going to make your tips goes to you it doesn't go to a pool system whatever you make it will come to you you can make even 1000 you can make even 2000 3000 or maybe nothing i hope this clear all the confusion if you still have any question you can write it down in comment below and i'll get back to you see you next time with something new something different thank you for now